In southwest England, these students are taking a language class of a different kind. Objective C, which is the, the language that we're using here with Xcode to make your iPhone apps. Just like with French or Spanish, there are rules and exceptions to learn. But by learning the languages of code, they speak to a computer, creating games, applications and websites. This is a really good thing to use because um, I want to set my own business on a model instead of like, employing someone to do your own website, you could do it yourself. Teaching coding and programming is a growing trend globally. Israeli high schools included computer science in curriculums a decade ago, and Australia, Denmark and Finland are looking to make similar changes. But come September, England will become the first G20 country to teach computer science rather than computer literacy to year ones. Students will start learning to write code from the age of five. They'll go through four stages, from learning algorithms to creating and altering programs, all the way through to learning the hardware and software of a computer. It's a far cry from the days of typing lessons and Microsoft Office tutorials, but that's exactly the way the government wants it. Teacher Jonathan Torbett backs the changes and says coding has real-world application. They don't do it to play games, they do it to make games that they can then sell so they're economically viable as a 16-year-old rather than in £40,000 of debt. While most teachers are on board, not all of them are ready. Matthew Rogers is helping train other teachers but says not enough funding has trickled through. It's not just, I need to read a quick book about this, I need to kind of do a little bit of research into this. They actually need to understand how it works. One of coding's biggest supporters is Keanu. The company distributes low-cost do-it-yourself computer sets to get would-be coders around the world up and running. The next great creators, they're in places like, uh, like Shenzhen, you know, like Tanzania, like, uh, like Delhi. So we're really trying to create a, a new kind of computing experience. A new generation of creators is exactly what the UK government says it's investing in as it tries to compete in the global innovation race. Kim Vanell, Al Jazeera, London.